officially landed in Cali. And guys, I did not film before because a lot was going on for my first time traveling. So I just was like, I'll just start filming <laughs> when I get here because this is my first time traveling by myself and going to the airport by myself. So I was like, I'm stressed out already. So <laughs> I just was like, let me just start it when I get here. So we here. We're at bash, cat baggage claim right now. So I'm waiting for the luggage to come out off the plane, which I put an air tag in mine, guys. If you do travel, I say don't you doesn't even matter if you travel by yourself with a group. Put an air tag in your bag. So I did. And I kept track of my bag the whole entire time here because I had a layover, layover flight in Dallas. So I could see that my bag was traveling with me and it was secure. So it gave me a little relief to know that my bag wasn't getting lost on my first trip by myself. So yeah guys, I'm gonna bring it back up once I get my luggage and then we're gonna get it over to the hotel and I'm gonna show you the hotel. So see you then, bye. All right guys, so we've gotten into the hotel room. Finally, it has been a long day of traveling. I've already gotten settled in the hotel room. Like I put my things out. So I'm just gonna show you guys how it looks. So by the way, this is the Delta Marriott Hotel. Um, I saw reviews on it and I just fell in love with it kinda. I love the bathroom. I love the shelves that they have in here. But it's a very new hotel that they built um, for the Marriott line. Just want to give you guys uh they have a regular shower head and then they have like a wand to go with the shower which i love because i have my personal bathroom at home and i was like yes let's do it so this is the entryway i just showed you the bathroom and there's a closet in the entryway okay i remember i got myself together so i already got my clothes hanging up and oh yeah that's the closet and it does come with an iron and an iron board and it has a safe in here too at the bottom i have my shoes on top of it and it has a mirror that you can check yourself out in i love that and the mirror is on both sides of the sides of the door by the way so it's on this side too But here's a little mini fridge, little kitchenette section. And I've already been to the store across the street. Again, I got myself settled before I started filming because I just had to. So I've already got me some waters. I got some tea, you know, to have in a hotel room to have something to drink. And I got me a bottle for it to open on my birthday. This is my favorite wine, you guys this one and um i don't know how to pronounce it is batura um it's another white wine uh i love that wine it's so good but here's a little kitchen area they have a coffee maker which i won't be using because i don't drink coffee at all i'm more of a tea person um they give you waters cups and to put your ice in, ice bucket. And this is the room. I got a king bed room. I love the room. Like I love that they did a very modern, simplistic design for their rooms. And it's it's a huge space. I don't know if you get it. it's huge. I love it. So much space to move around, do whatever I need. But I put my suitcase right there. And again, I told you, so there's a Target literally right across the street from this hotel. I'm gonna show you guys once I get back to the front desk and go outside. But here's the desk area. That's like an area to put your suitcase, but I, I haven't figured all that stuff out yet. Um, they got drawers, even under here, space to put your clothes. And I've already got my lounge license out. I've used this for traveling. And I loved it for 
um, about to use it again just for daily use. I love my black seeds ones. It matches everything. It's so cute. And I sure did keep my um, <laughs> Moon Knight wrapped up, okay? He, he I, I didn't want in the travel him to get stained at all. You know, TSA be handling your bags kind of crazy. So I wrapped him up. He's still in the plastic and the wallet's inside. And then I have my Mickey ears and that I cut the tag off. Remember in my last preview, I told you I was taking a tag off. It has Mickey on the side. Then I had got me a wristlet. Just if I didn't want to, if I was going out real quick and I didn't want to take my backpack, then I was, I'm using the wristlet. Just for something like real quick to take outside. And they have this seating area so it has a couch i know this couch pulls out into another bed but of course i'm going to use it as a couch because it is just me on vacay and they got the phone i just really love this picture for some reason i really like the picture over top of the bed and the wall like the wall print that they have it's really cute and here's what it looks like outside i'm gonna show you so when i first got here they put me on the second floor but you guys i'm a person that i do not feel comfortable being low towards the ground so i went in that room and it also had a connecting door in it and i did not feel comfortable like i didn't feel safe so i went back down to the front desk and asked them to put me up in a higher room with no connecting door just because you know i'm traveling by myself so i feel safe safer being higher up no connecting rooms so they put me on you know on the fifth floor with a pool pool view no extra charge and even though the palm tree is right here it's still a beautiful view like it's so pretty And I can see like all the hotels over there. Like, it's very pretty. And I went, already went down to the pool and it was very warm, nice. And they got those cabanas that they have. They are first come first serve. There was barely anyone out there. So I had grabbed one for myself and they have towels out there for you. So you don't have to bring a towel. I really love that. Love the service. But yeah, guys, that is my room. And I'm in here watching Mr. Morrow. <laughs> Him and Tim Tracker, I love to watch their um, YouTube videos. Very nice. I have kind of a little story to tell <laughs> for when I first got here, guys. So I packed my suitcase. And you know, me trying to be safe and have my things not stolen or if my suitcase gets lost i put an apple tag in my suitcase which by the way i put in my moon night bag <laughs> in case someone took stuff out the bag then i could still track my moon night bag because i'm not playing about it um i put an air tag in my suitcase and then i had bought this tsa lock for my suitcase right so i could not set this lock up by myself like I tried to set it to uh, you know a combination everything and I could not figure it out but before I left home I literally just put this on my suitcase just to have it there and like hanging there so it can deter somebody from even trying to open it well it was not locked when I put it on the suitcase of course because I couldn't figure it out well I got my suitcase back and it was locked it was completely locked. I could not even open it. And I <laughs> I think TSA saw it and that it wasn't locked and they locked it. So I get here to the hotel and I see that my suitcase is locked and I'm like, oh my God, I don't know the code to open my suitcase. I don't even know how it got locked. <laughs> So I started looking up YouTube videos to try to unlock this and it said paper clips. I go down to the front desk, go get paper clips. To They say to put the paper clip in the lock and like push it in and then would unlock. Yeah, no, did not work. So mind you, I'm going to this guy at the front desk and I told him why I need the paper clips. And he was like, okay, well, let me know if it works. So I come back downstairs, let him know the paper clip did not work. So you know what my next thing to do is because I need my I need to get in my suitcase is to break it 
literally just break it into pieces. So I said, ask him, I said, do you have a hammer? And he started laughing at me because he could not believe I was, I really had to do all this just to get into my suitcase because it was locked. So he went to his personal car, got me his hammer and a flat head screwdriver. And I came up here and I hammered this joint, okay? I just hammered it off my suitcase. I didn't need the flat um, screwdriver, but I, I just hammered it until it broke. <laughs> just to get in my suitcase, but come to find out, TSA locked it, but they also locked it with a key because I found out this is their key. Cause I was like, it's, it has a keyhole, but I didn't get a key in the packaging. Well, it's a TSA key, a universal key that they have that they can use to open these if they need to. So that was very interesting to find out. So yeah, that was my first, <laughs> you know, little kind of issue on vacation. So, you know, something always has to happen on your vacation, just like something trivial. But yeah, I got into my suitcase because I my suitcase also had all my Lysol wipes and things to wipe the room down. So I had to get into it. So I wipe, wipe the room down, I sprayed it down, check for bed bugs, you know, just the usual travel. And then I set up my charger station and I love this charger station. It charges your watch, AirPods, and your phone just lays flat on here. And then that's my um, portable charger for my phone. But yeah, I love this room. And when I go back downstairs, I'll show you guys what it, the hotel kind of looks like. Um, about to go downstairs, get something to eat. And uh, I don't know if I have to make another Target run, but we'll figure it out. But yeah, guys, just wanted to show you my room and how it's looking. Yeah, guys. And I will see ya later in the next video. Maybe, you know, yeah, checking out the hotel. But yeah. <laughs> All right, guys.